To make things short and sweet, make sure you use the chapter feature for YouTube to find the bug you have. If it still doesn't work, watch the whole video. And with each bug I mention, there will be a visual mention of what videos in the series will show how to do the solution. I think you'll understand how every video in the series is linked together by these problems. Before you continue this video, I want you to create a new profile in Vortex Mod Organizer 2. Vortex users, purge your mods just to clear the data folder. I went over how to do this and here's what you need to know before downloading your Fallout 4, which will be linked in the description. Your mods should be disabled, but if you downgraded by patching, enable address library and BAS, backported archive to support system. Vortex users, click deploy after this and try to load the game again. If you can load fine on this profile, the problem is your mods, and you most likely need to get the right mods for your game version. Or you might need to do the full downgrade to 1.10.163. But if you still have problems, continue watching. The first error, invalid executable with hash. Make sure you get the right version of Simple Fallout 4 Downgrader. To do this, look at what game version you have and then match it with the file version of the mod. Procedure entry point not found. If you download the depots for Fallout 4, you need to copy those depots over to the Fallout 4 folder. If it prompts you to overwrite anything, let it overwrite it. I recommend you get the full version of 1.10.163 anyway, so you don't run into any future problems. Black screen instant crash. This error happens when you try to load the game up or FORC, and the command window opens up for a split second, then crashes. The game doesn't load at all. This is a common error associated with troubleshooting mods. But in our case, since we disabled our mods, it can be due to multiple things, like your game probably updated again. Delete or remove the CC content. CC content is anything with two Cs in front of the file. I selected all of them and put them in the creations folder, since I won't be using it. But you should put it in a folder of your own choosing or delete it altogether. If you still did what I recommended you to do at the start of this video, then it's not your mods, it might be your configuration files conflicting with a new version. You can try creating new INI files by deleting the ones in your documents, my games, Fallout 4. But if you use MO2, it'll be in your profiles folder. Then run the game launcher. I show how to restore your INI files in the mentioned video. Make sure your graphics drivers are up to date. To know which graphics driver you have, open up the start menu and type in DX Diag then press enter. Press no to check for digitally signed drivers and click the display one tab. And if you go down to here, you'll see whether you have Nvidia or Radeon or any other types of graphics card. Then head over to the company website for the drivers. Now since uh, Nvidia is going to update their GeForce Experience product, you should still be able to find automatic driver updates on their website if it comes to that. And then for Radeon, you can find the same option and it'll automatically find your driver for you. Or you can always manually put in your graphics driver information and find the drivers that way. If you're playing an updated version of the game, make sure you remove BAS and address library version 1.10.163. Check for them in your data folder if they were installed manually and Vortex users do this after you purged your mods. Or the lather, you removed pass and or address library when you downgraded by patch. The downgrade requires address library and pass to stay enabled in order for you to play on version 1.10.163. You have missing files, removed something, or didn't install, or your data folder is missing. Or if you have corrupted files, try using Steam Verify. Empty main menu bug. This happens when you load your game and once you get to the main menu, it's empty. Uh, this, ha this may happen if you didn't downgrade on a freshly updated Fallout 4. 
try launching your configuration settings, your video settings, and putting it on windowed wireless. You can also fix this by using archive and validation. And Bethany fixes this by managing the INI files. REL relocation.h600 failed to open. This error is caused when you have the wrong version of address library. Get the address library version 1.10.163 or address library all in one version, which will load the right bin based on what F4FC version you have loaded. Pay attention to the .dll name. This error can come from not having the right version of the mod. F4SE errors. You're using Fallout version 1.10.163, which is out of date. You didn't download the 0.6.23 version of F4SC. The easiest way to know which version of F4SC you have is by checking the .ell in your Fallout 4 game folder. Or if you have the right versions of every file, it's most likely a program files error. F4SC isn't working. The downgrade didn't work. You install them inside of your mod manager instead of extracting them manually. You extracted them to the wrong folder, or you don't have F4SC set up correctly in your mod manager, or this is a program files error and you need to move your Fallout 4 out of program files. F4SC and or the downgrader couldn't find your Fallout4.exe or unable to start correctly 142 error. If your Fallout 4 is installed in program files, you're gonna have an error like this, or you're gonna have bugs mimic other ones. Windows is presenting your files from being altered. It is recommended you move your Fallout 4 game out of program files to have working mods. You can try running as administrator on the fo 4 downgradereexe or the fo 4 downexe Or move your Fallout 4 folder out of program files temporarily. Use the downgrader Put the Fallout 4 folder back into program files and add your Fallout 4 folder, your MO2 slash Vortex install folders, and .exes to Windows exclusion. You go to Virus th and Threat Protection, Exclusions, or Manage Virus and Threat Protection settings and click Manage Settings to find exclusions and to add them. Or you can just watch the mentioned video for an easier solution. If your game is already outside of program files, you deleted your Fallout4.exe, put it back. You installed F4SC in the wrong folder. Or you just had missing files, so I would suggest seeking verify integrity of game files in that case. My mods are installed, but they're not working. Make sure your antivirus isn't blocking Vortex or protecting your mods from being launched. Check the game path your mod manager is installing mods to. Does it match the path you're trying to downgrade in? If so, look at your Fallout 4 folder and Fallout 4 data folder. Is there anything missing or did you accidentally put a data folder inside of your Fallout 4 data? When removing the CC content, did you remove files without CC in front? I have 9 Fallout 4 installs and I can't find them all. Open a folder, Windows Explorer. On the left pane, you should see this PC. Click it and in the search bar, type in fallout4.exe and press enter. Wait for it to search all your drives for the fallout4.exe. This could take a while. Once the search is completed, you right click, view, click details or control shift six and expand the folder to see where each fallout4.exe is coming from. Now you can right click and open file location, but this will reset your search. So just right click any fault4.exe and click 
open file location. You might have to press show more options to see this. My Fallout 4 sound isn't working. If your sound isn't working system-wide, that is a sound driver issue. And for this video, I'm only trying to troubleshoot downgrading issues. If it's Fallout 4, make sure you didn't put a data folder inside of your Fallout 4 data. Go to your volume mixer and make sure you didn't mute the game accidentally. If all else is not working, the .ba2 responsible for sound is missing or corrupted. But don't worry, Steam Verify can fix that. Try deleting your BA2 archives, then Steam Verify. If nothing else works, Steam Verify integrity of game files. Delete the Fallout4.exe, Fallout4launcher.exe, and SteamAPI.el. Or for a clean Steam Verify, Vortex users, purge your mods, Delete every file in the main Fallout 4 folder except for the data folder. And then Steam Verify. And then try downgrading the game again. Well, this concludes every bug that I found for downgrading or after downgrading. And I hope after going through this whole video and all the other videos that it's sorted out. There's a possibility that not every video is uploaded yet and I'm working on that ASAP. So all I can do is ask for your patience as I get the videos finished and the downgrade series completed. So thank you for watching and supporting me along the way. Happy modding gamers.